and welcome to News Center. My name is Fatheya Mohammed Noor. Now, the implementation of junior secondary school is in its second year, but the process has not been without challenges. From inadequate teachers, a lack of infrastructure, such as laboratories and classrooms, to teaching uh, teachers teaching outside, lessons outside of the specialization, junior secondary school continues to face huge challenges. When the country embarked on the journey towards a new education system, the original plan was to have junior secondary schools domiciled in secondary schools. And to realize this, former President Uru Kenyatta directed the National Treasury to allocate 8 billion shillings for the construction of 10,000 CBC classrooms across secondary schools. Former Education Cabinet Secretary, the late Professor George Magoa, oversaw the project, and by the time he was handing over to his successor, Magoa had overseen the construction of over 9,800 classrooms. According to the CBC implementation report added to former President Uru Kenyatta in February 2021, junior secondary school was supposed to be domiciled in secondary schools. There were also a few primary schools that had been identified by the government to host junior secondary schools. This meant that the original plan was to deploy secondary school teachers to handle junior secondary while at the same time making use of secondary school facilities such as laboratories. We, we already said that we are also going to make use of primary schools that share compounds with secondary schools and we are going to be able to regiment about 5,000 classrooms. Actually, that has already been done. Finally, on the issues of uh, private uh, schools, we have encouraged the primary schools, especially in the urban areas, to upgrade into junior high schools, and a large number has done so. And we are looking forward to getting between three and 4,000 classrooms from there. Then uh, the SECIP classrooms, which are being funded through another system, will give us another 1,100 classrooms. So for the purposes of this year, the 20,000 classrooms are available at 21,000. Now it will be the duty of the incoming government to ensure that another 20,000 classrooms are built next year. But then came the big shift by the Kenya Kwanzaa administration, which besides domiciling junior secondary in primary school, changed grade 6 KEPSA exams from being a placement test for learners to grade 7 to being an assessment to monitor progress of learners. This decision was informed by recommendation in the Presidential Working Party on education reforms led by Professor Rafael Monavo. Nini mnajua wakati tulianza hapa? Niliwaeleza ya kwamba ata mtoto wangu mimi ananiuliza maswali nyumbani. Na there is nothing as emotional as your child not being sure of whether you as a parent know what you are doing. You know, and now it comes down to be personal. You know, you, you forget the job you do as a professor. NEC will report on Kipsea at three levels as follows. There will be a report on individual learners for the summative assessment. There will be a school-specific report. And there will be a national report on school-based and summative assessments. The national report will provide feedback to education stakeholders on areas that require intervention. The report will indicate the proportion of learners at each of the performance levels per subject where perhaps we need to do some interventions. The report will be very useful to the Kenya National, to the Kenya Institute of Curriculum Development, the Teacher Service Commission and the Ministry of Education as we continue with the rollout of CBC. From the very beginning, as a, an association in the slum setting, we had an issue with why these grade six learners were being subjected to a summative examination. Because you cannot say that it's a summative assessment, that one is a summative Examine, examination, because it was following all the rules 
of administering an exam as it was for KCP. Junior secondary was created as a transitional section between primary and senior secondary under the competency-based curriculum. It comprises of grades 7, 8 and 9. But right from its rollout in 2023, there were challenges. From inadequate teachers to teachers teaching and handling subjects outside of their area of specialization, the first year of junior school had more challenges than hope and promise. In second school, we use what we call curriculum-based establishment. I've ever talked about that. Is a, is a mathematical formula that is used to raise the number of teachers that will handle one student. In that formula, you must have science teachers, art teachers, physics, language, eh, curriculum-based establishment. In primary, there's no curriculum-based establishment. One teacher has been trained to teach all subjects. Although we are talking about the junior secondary, the, the learning areas have not changed much. We have social studies, we don't have geography, we don't have history, we don't have literature, we have English. So when people are trying to talk about, wow, the, the, in secondary you are supposed to specialize in literature, no, I, I think uh, that, that, that notion should not be there. Teachers who teach in primary and came from primary teachers training colleges are qualified in up to about 12 learning areas. So when you put on their higher qualifications, with the degrees and diplomas that they, they actually uh, got awarded, then they qualify. The government started off by employing 36,000 teachers on a one-year contract before 20,000 more were added, taking the number to 56,000. But with 19,038 public primary schools authorized to teach junior school, there is a huge gap. The Teacher Service Commission says about 7,500 primary school teachers holding bachelor's degrees were deployed to teach junior school. However, due to subject needs, schools fall short of the requirement. Through retooling, teachers who are trained and qualified to teach languages were called upon to teach English, Kiswahili, life skills, physical education, foreign languages, social studies, virtual arts and performing arts. Teachers who are trained to teach mathematics were retooled to teach mathematics, integrated science, life skills, physical education, business studies, computer studies, and pre-technical studies. Teachers who are trained and qualified to teach science were retooled to teach mathematics, integrated science, health education, life skills, physical education, pre-technical studies, business studies, agriculture, home science, and computer studies. Meanwhile, those who trained and qualified to teach humanities were retooled to teach social studies, English, Kiswahili, health education, life skills, physical education, and sports, indigenous languages, and performing arts. Like chemistry, physics, and biology in JSS is put in a learning area known as integrated science, which of, we will get majority of us. Some of us, we do not sit in a physics class. Uh, sincerely speaking, there is nothing happening as far as sciences are concerned. There is a difference between downloading an image of a test tube from the internet and a child using the actual test tube in the lab. There are about 31,218 public primary schools and 8,933 public secondary schools. And after it was decided that junior secondary be domiciled in primary schools, the government approved 18,695 public primary schools to be public junior secondary schools. It is not cast on stone. I don't see any issue with the remain, uh, renaming that one uh, to senior school or senior primary. And uh, for the psychological uh, treat for the uh, boys and girls who are graduating uh, from grade six, we can as well give them a different set of uniform to look different, to look senior. They will be in senior school. People perceiving secondary schooling in terms of physical space instead of looking at it as a concept of curriculum. So we go with the curriculum first 
and then you follow with the facilities that are supposed to support that curriculum. But for us, we see secondary school in terms of moving from this physical space to another physical space, forgetting that in this country we have schools that have grade one up to grade 12 in the same, you know, in the same compound, you just go through a transformation. You know, when you are in secondary, maybe sometimes you just change the uniform. It is basically about infrastructure. Forget about what you are asking on who will teach them. Teachers in primary schools have qualifications to teach in secondary schools. I want to tell you, without cheating you, go to any primary school. A big percentage of those teachers are now degree holders. Some have their masters on, and some are actually pursuing PhDs. Kenya National Union of Teachers, NAT, argued that domiciling junior secondary in secondary schools would have locked out 60% of learners, while Coupet and the Kenya Secondary Schools Heights Association maintained the curriculum designed for junior secondary required secondary school teachers. We told them, in an event that you are trying to, to make sure that you don't want the transition at grade 6 because of the age, then make grade 7 a transition, but you have to you have to scale down the curriculum so that it becomes a primary school curriculum. And then you have to amend the secondary school curriculum, the junior secondary school curriculum, to remain junior secondary school. The situation around the junior school teachers is complicated further by their contract. While they were originally employed on a one-off non-renewable contract lasting for 11 months, those terms were varied in beginning January. The intern teachers handling junior schools had their contracts extended for another one year. Sababu tulitoa sera kama serikali ya kwamba sekta zote kabla ya kuajiriwa permanent and pensionable unafanya kazi internship so they will complete, once they complete their internship of two years, we will hire everybody. So they need to relax. They need to go through the process. They will have the first priority mm -hmm. when we hire teachers after the internship. Wamekua wakijua policy ya walimu huwa mwaka moja. All of a sudden, sababu wanasema pesa haitoshi na walimu ingine ambao wame, they have graduated just the other day on permanent and pensionable terms. Now all of a sudden there is no money. Now policy has changed to from one year to two years. This is unconstitutional and it is breaching of that contract. According to international labor laws, a worker should work for six months and on the seventh month, he or she should be confirmed. But, but come to Kenya, we have had a bunker points to the teaching uh, fraternity and there is no site for confirmation. We are telling TSC to move with speed and confirm 21,000 teachers. The distribution of teachers in public junior schools was supposed to be based on the number of streams with an average of one teacher per stream. According to the Presidential Working Party on Education Reforms Report, an optimum operating junior school ought to have 180 to 210 learners with a class size of between 60 to 70 learners, which requires six teachers and three classrooms. We take note, for example, that the implementation of the CBC in our primary and junior schools has shaken up the staffing levels. As a result, the number of classes in the primary school level has reduced by two classes, that is 37 and 8. Consequently, the teacher requirement for primary schools has reduced significantly, leading to an excess of 18,194 staff. The Commission will redistribute these teachers to schools to ensure all institutions have balanced a lower teacher learner ratios. Other challenges facing junior schools are lack of facilities such as laboratories and delayed capitation, among other issues, which, unless addressed adequately, may persist. And now, Kenya Union of Post-Primary Education Teachers, COPET, wants a junior school divided into two by moving grade 8 and 9 to secondary school. We are domiciling 
grade 7, 8, and 9 in primary school. But there is no corresponding commitment to build classrooms which are attending this, to improve the infrastructure which is going to undertake this, and even to conduct teachers and employ them appropriately and give them appropriate tasks in these schools. So that means that we are not having the right staff. Yeah, people are just thinking in a boardroom and thinking that these things can work. They may work if practical moves are being made. For example, it can work in a school like Nairobi Primary. Because there, it is next to State House. And the president can move from that, his, his, his office and walk to that place and say, this one can be done. But can it happen? Can it happen at Uru Primary in Nairobi? What we are doing as a priority is reparatories. Uh, uh, government has been able to allocate 4.5 billion, which is going to be used for uh, building of laboratories in the junior secondary schools and also uh, we are engaging with World Bank and I think uh, we have got a positive uh, conclusion on that where we are likely to get uh, 10, 10 billion which uh, uh, we are doing what we call integrated uh, resource center. Yet the biggest problem facing junior secondary thanks to the decision to domicile it in primary schools, is the tension between the intern teachers and their primary school counterparts. The rivalry stems from the fact that the primary school teachers are employed on permanent terms and earn more than the intern teachers who earn just 20,000 shillings monthly stipend. And while most of the primary school head teachers who are also in charge of junior school hold P1 certificates, most of the intern teachers who are teaching junior secondary are degree holders some people feel inferior because some a graduate has come to a school and therefore there is no good relationship in school. So we have got a lot of tension, but education should be administered in a very free environment where there is an element of love and people socialize very freely. So that socialization is a real problem. Remember, these people chose to give grade 7 long trousers and grade 8 had short trousers. The class, the, the staff rooms are not there. So the, the, the junior secondary school teachers are, are under the tree while others are in, in a staff room, something which resembles a, a, a staff room. Don't assume that primary school teachers only have P1 grades or certificates. Personally, I was trained as a primary school teacher. But I went ahead to qualify again as a secondary school teacher, Kiswahili and religion. Then there is the bigger decision to rationalize and reduce learning areas at the junior secondary. Accordingly, health education has since been combined with integrated science, while pre-technical and business studies have also been combined. And just like in upper primary, agriculture and home science have been integrated. Sports and physical education, visual arts and performing arts will now be taught as creative arts and sports. Now learners will not be thinking about visual arts as something independent of performing arts and independent of sports. They start to connect what are the key aspects of these ether to different domains that are interconnected. If you think about pre-technical studies, there is a chance that the way we were going earlier on, people just taking uh, pre-technical studies, they may not have a chance again to do business studies, which we're now integrating into it. They may never have a chance to experience computer skills, which we are also integrating into it. So now they can look at the interconnectedness of these different facets of knowledge. The changes also saw a huge departure from the original junior secondary setup. Consequently, there will be no optional subjects at junior secondary.
Previously, optional subjects were visual arts, performing arts, home science, computer science, foreign languages such as German, French, Mandarin, and Arabic. Others were Kenyan Sign Language and Indigenous Languages. Shadrach Miti, Kitchen News. Now the impacts of climate change are pushing numerous families in arid and semi-arid counties to the brink of food insecurity, poverty and malnutrition. In Aikipia County, 41 women-led groups have embraced